Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is episode 178 of the hard-hitting, universally loved podcast, also known as Online Marketing Moves. Today is Friday, January the 15th, 2021 at the time of this recording. And today we are going to talk about what is your story everybody everybody every great book every great movie has a story it has a theme every great speaker you know i remember i listened to the great zig ziglar listen to jim rome les brown all these people they speak and even though they say different things in their different books and their different tapes and everything else, the base of the story is always the same. I mean, Zig Ziglar, he's a, he, he loved to tell everybody he was from Yazoo City, Mississippi. Jim Rohn, he liked to say that he was a, a farm boy from Iowa, made good. And even in one of the things I used to watch a lot, wrestling, every great wrestler had a a good background story and they always brought it up during the matches like big matches you know like i remember Shawn michaels he his chat his this i remember when he first won the wwe title and vince mcmahon was screaming their boyhood dream made good his boyhood dream made good and every now and then during a big match they would bring up Shawn michaels and his boyhood dream or they would stone cold they would bring up how he was just a you know, a redneck from Texas, and he got rejected from, you know, another wrestling company, and blah, 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 and now he's, you know, he's doing it for the people, and, you know, they had The Rock, you know, he's a you know, third-generation wrestler, this, that, and the other. Every great person, every great movie, book, they have a story. Now, is the story, is sometimes, is the story embellished? Of course it is, <laughs> you know? I'm not saying they're lying, but all of us at some point of our lives have hammed it up a little bit to make to make a story sound better than what it normally is, you know. I remember I was told somebody, you know, I said, hey, man. I remember I went to truck driving school and I, man, I had my Navy duffel bag and I walked 10 miles and I walked through Memphis. Now, the part that is true is I did have my duffel bag. I did walk through Memphis, but did I walk 10 miles? No, I probably walked <laughs> three miles maybe the most, but 10 sounds better, doesn't it, okay? So I like to tell people, yeah, man, I walked 10 miles just to get the truck driving school, and then, you know, finally, you know, the police saw me, and he was like, hey, what are you doing? And he picked me up and all this jazz, you know? So the story, you know, it's a little hammed up, but it's a good story. You know, it's a very funny story to me. And, um, you know, one day when I do speaking events, I'm going to bring that story up. And uh, that's going to be part of the base. That's going to be part of my base, you know what I mean? And so it got me to thinking today, it's like, what is your story? What is your going to be your common theme? How are you going to weave? How are you going to weave your marketing? How are you going to weave whatever you want to talk about back? in with the base because everybody has you know it's like if you ever watch a Ric Flair wrestling match Ric Flair he does different things but he has a couple things in there that staples you know one where if you ever <laughs> you can just look this up on YouTube you type in a Ric Flair match and say Ric Flair thrown from the top rope and every match he's about to go on the top rope he's about to jump and then they, they catch him then he shakes his head. He's like, no, 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 no. And so they throw him off the top rope. That is a Ric Flair staple, you know. Tom Cruise, I noticed, in Tom Cruise movies, he has one, it seems like he has one part in there where he just takes off running for some reason, you know. Spike Lee has a theme in his movies. Somebody makes a speech, and, you know, they, they start showing different clips, different scenes, and somebody's still talking. That's, that's like a Spike Lee theme, you know. So everybody has a theme. Everybody has a story that they, you know, the base, you know, the, of the pyramid, you know. Without a base, you have nothing. So what will your story be? What, 
How are you? And you have to think about this kind of stuff, you know. Everything can't be off the cuff, you know. I know when I first started this podcast, I was like, I'm just going to talk off the cuff. I'm just going to be blah, 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 you know. But you want to have, eventually, <clears throat> to get better at anything, you want to build some construction. You want to have some some construction. You want to have a foundation of what, of where you want to go and what you want to talk about, you know. Everything you just can't throw out there on the whim, you know. It's, it's like being a football, it's like being a football coach. You're not going to say, well, Sunday, boys, we're just going to go out there and see how the F it goes. It doesn't work that way. Let's have a plan. Let's have a strategy. Let's build our base. See where we want to go. Then you get into the game. Check it out. Start start working it. See see what's working. See what's not working. Then you change it. But you're always going there with a base. So what is your story going to be? And everybody has a unique story. So don't think, oh, man, my story is not that interesting. Everybody has a great story, you know. Just think about this. You want to start a business. You want to you you want to work from home. You want freedom. You want your freedom. That's the start of your story, you know. What made you want to do it? What 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 some things that happened to you where you're like, you know what? I'm not taking this crap anymore. I don't, I don't want to deal with this BS, you know. I don't want to work for somebody. I'm kind of over that. So, why are you you know, what's your motivation? What's your desires? What's your wishes? What's your wants? And you put that in the story. You always put those things into the story. It doesn't have to be made up. Of course, a couple of things, though. You might be like, you know, you might embellish a couple of things, but that's okay. We all embellish. You know, I mean, you know how many times I've, you know, told my wife a story, and I'm like, let me add a little, <laughs> let me add a little sauce to this to, to this story, you know. And um, I mean, well, I'm from I'm from the country. We we like to throw, we like to add a little sauce to our story, so. You know, I'm not saying just be a complete liar. You know, you're not a complete liar, but, you know, adding a little, you know, putting a little cherry on top of the story. It's not a big deal. So <clears throat> what is your story? You know, what is the base? You know, are you going to tell people you're from such and such town, this, that, and the other? So just think about that and always use that stuff in your writing. Use it in your videos. You can use it in your podcast, you know. Your story, you don't have to say it every time. You don't have to say it every, you know, you don't have to use it every day. But, you know, if it's been a while and you know you got, and you know you get new listeners, you're like, well, let me tell you the story about me. And let me tell you why I did this. And let me tell you why I did that. You know? So, and the more, and the, the more open you are, the more honest you are, and the more you will attract people as well, you know? I know we joked about embellishing. And of course, you know, we are going to embellish the story a little bit. You know how, when I listen to the podcast, how I built this, they're like, and we were two minutes away from being broke, guy, Ross. And it's like, really? You were two minutes away? I don't know about that, but okay. You know, but, but uh, yeah, so just always be thinking about your story. Always be thinking about, you know, how you can weave that story into marketing, how you can weave it into your affiliate programs, how you can just weave it into your content just you know come up with the come up with the story you know think about your life you know every now and then sit back reflect think about your life think about where you at think about what made you tick what made you what gave you the drive what gave you the passion what gave you who you are you know and it might be your parents it might be your environment it might be your situation whatever it is weave that into the story you know this is your story. This is why it's unique. This is why I always say content. You don't have to copy anybody because your story is unique on its own. You are unique. You are special. You know what I mean? Like You don't have to worry about anybody else. You don't have to say, oh, man, I, you know, I've got the rags riches story, you know, blah, 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 blah. You, know? you don't have to be typical. It doesn't have to be the same, you know. Everybody has their own story, you know. It doesn't matter if you grew up in a nice house doesn't matter you know if you were poor you were rich it doesn't matter you know your story is your story be proud of that story you know what i mean be proud of who you are be proud be proud of where you come from you know that's not that's not an issue but just tell your story you know weave it into your content and it's okay you know the, the better you get at telling the story about you the better you get at telling stories in your content the more you will attract people to you and the more you know and of course, if you're in the affiliate marketing, the more people you have on your email list, the more people you have 
following you, the more money you will make. All right? So just think about it. You know, story time, storytelling. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, tell a good story. You know, what's your story? You know? Never and never hesitate. If somebody asks you about your story, never hesitate to tell them. Say, well, let me tell you, you know. You know, you're not, you know, it's okay, you know. And get into the and get into the habit of talking and talking about, you know, the things that happened to you, you know, things that made you, you know, become, you know, what has driven you to this point? That's what I'm getting at. What has driven you to this point? where you want to do something different in your life you know what what drove you because i can exactly tell you what drives me you know it was me spending my saturdays on a truck out in the middle of nebraska or just me not being with my wife when i want to be you know even things like today when i was i got off work and i'm like hey do i have to work tonight and the guy's like, oh, yeah, I think so. And then he called me back, but I'm on the way home. He's like, oh no, don't worry, you don't have to worry. You don't have to. You don't have to come in today. We'll see you uh, Sunday night, Monday, Monday morning. You know. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's just those kind of things, or the, or the, you know, or part of this, part of my story of why I want to move on from the job I have to running my own business on a full time basis. It's because I want to set my, I I want to set my own hours. I don't want anybody to say. Well, you know, uh, I think I need you. I don't, I don't know. I think a blah, 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 blah. Nah, you know, I want, I want to be in charge of all that. I've, I've worked for people long enough. You know, I've learned a lot. I appreciate it, but it's time for me to move on. And that's part of my story. And so what's part of your story, you know, but that's it for now. That's it for the podcast. We'll be back tomorrow with another hard hitting episode of online marketing moves and if you haven't subscribed to the podcast yet or if you haven't shared the podcast with somebody then what are you waiting on everybody everybody let's go everybody tell a friend to tell a friend about the podcast we are getting better this podcast is the greatest podcast in the universe and we come to you every day with different content but until tomorrow my name is Tony Rizzano. This is Online Marketing Moves, and I will see you later. And as always, everybody, peace.